I think one of the most appealing things about hiking into a campsite for me is the fact that you really only need a minimal amount of gear to pull it off. My brother and my friend Andy dropped in on their bikes and we hit the road. What I was looking for in this camping trip was something that I could ride my motorcycle to comfortably and somewhere that I could hike in uh, to camp. I've never been on a hike-in camping trip before. When I got to the parking lot to access High Falls, uh, it was packed out with cars. And uh, I was a little bit worried thinking, I'm here on a weekend. A lot of people like to go camping on the weekends. Hopefully when I get in there, there'll be a spot available where I can camp out. the challenge was packing in such a way that I could carry my gear all on my motorcycle, but then I could park my motorcycle, put everything on my back and hike in. If you ever get lost and you know that there's a river that feeds into the area where you're parking, that's kind of a handy thing because you just need to find the river and follow the river back out. Um, when I finally made it to High Falls, I looked around, there was, some there was a tent set up and someone had a hammock set up, which was pretty cool. And, uh, and slowly some guys started kind of moseying over, introduced ourselves and, uh, and started chatting about camping and what we're up to. I think one of the cool things about being backcountry camping and learning that other people are into backcountry camping is you develop this sense of community and this understanding that we're all out here, we're all enjoying this um, beautiful nature and figuring out how we're gonna you know, set up the tent in the right spot, how we're gonna get our water purified, what we're gonna do for dinner, what we're gonna do for breakfast, you know, what sort of side trips we might do, little adventures here and there. He's like, you gonna try it? I was like, no. Okay, I'm doing it. Grab on the rope and oh, uh, one leg over the other awkwardly. Half my week I sit at a computer, so I'm not really in great shape to be climbing. But, uh, you know, one leg at a time, going across, and I made it across. That's probably one of my favorite things about, about camping with other people is that shared experience of, uh, of learning new ways of doing things and sharing stories and just enjoying company um, when you're out there.
span and I make my way back home. This guy is the man. I think I've made up my mind I prefer canoe camping. I'm already halfway back and I haven't been bitten by a single mosquito. That's the way you do it. And I just let him paddle while I'm filming. So I just let me paddle when he's filming. <laughs> it's good that it works out that way. I love sleeping on the ground and waking up to like nature, birds, waterfalls, all the good stuff that you only get camping. Like you, even in cottage life, you don't fully get the experience. And like being close to the water like this in a canoe is, has a, an earnest, deep satisfaction. Like, might look like you're just paddling along, but you're, it's, it's a, an effort. Hiking in is a really great way to have that backcountry experience without breaking the bank on a canoe rental or on buying a canoe uh, and just to see if you like it. I think sometimes all it takes is packing some gear in a bag, doing a quick kind of outline of a plan, letting people know where you are and then seeing where it goes. Set a good table to call you need. We will see colors that wonder about. 